Hey there, ever heard of the movie Royal Wedding? It's from 1951, and it's got some surprising, funny, and even sad stuff in it. Stick around because we'll be sharing some shocking, funny, and even sad facts as we go along in this video. But first, let me ask you, do you have any fond memories of this movie? And who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in it? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, Royal Wedding is a classic flick that's got a lot going on. It's about two siblings who are performers, and they travel to London for a big show. There's romance, comedy, and even some drama thrown in for good measure. Plus, there's some pretty cool dance scenes that you won't want to miss. Now, let's dive into some of the interesting facts about the movie. Did you know that one of the most iconic scenes where the characters dance on the walls and ceiling was actually done using a rotating room? It's true. Also, the male lead had to dance with a broken ankle during filming. Ouch. And here's another fun fact. The female lead was played by a famous Hollywood actress who was actually pregnant during filming. Talk about dedication to her craft. So, whether you're a fan of classic movies or just looking for something new to watch, Royal Wedding has got you covered. Don't forget to share your favorite memories and experiences in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Royal Wedding is a 1951 movie that premiered in the 20th century. The story revolves around two siblings, Ellen and Tom, who are both performers. They travel to London for a royal wedding. Helen falls in love with a lord and faces challenges as she navigates her feelings while trying to balance her career. Tom, on the other hand, struggles with his own romantic entanglements. The movie is set against the backdrop of the excitement surrounding the royal wedding, providing a glimpse into the lives of performers in the entertainment industry. Its memorable dance sequence, where Fred Astaire dances on the ceiling, is one of its most iconic moments. The film received critical acclaim for its innovative choreography and won several awards for its performances and direction, making it a classic in the world of musical cinema. In the realm of classic cinema, there's a gem that stands out for its captivating storyline and memorable performances. It features a stellar cast, including a renowned actor from Broadway and a notable personality from a prestigious family. The movie's charm lies not only in its narrative, but also in the chemistry between the actors, which adds an extra layer of authenticity to the project. This particular film holds a special place in the hearts of many, serving as a timeless reminder of love's power and the magic of the silver screen. Its themes of romance, commitment, and the pursuit of happiness continue to strike a chord with audiences today, ensuring its enduring popularity. In summary, this movie is more than just entertainment. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of classic cinema and the universal themes it explores. Its captivating performances and heartfelt story make it a beloved classic for generations to come. Early in pre-production, Vera Ellen was initially announced as the female lead. However, the role eventually went to Jane Powell. In the memorable You're All the World to Me scene, the furniture on the set was firmly nailed down to create the illusion of dancing on walls and ceilings. It took several turns to ensure the furniture wouldn't move at all, adding to the technical complexity of the scene. Interestingly, Fred Astaire and Jane Powell's on-screen relationship as siblings has sparked debate. Many feel they should have portrayed a father-daughter dynamic instead, despite the film giving no indication of this familial connection. These elements add depth to the dynamics within the storyline and characters, enhancing the overall viewing experience. In an interview, Fred Astaire talked about how much work went into getting even the smallest details right for the film. They tried out more than 30 hat racks before they finally made one that worked perfectly. It cost over 900. The movie shows the royal wedding of Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Astaire and Keenan Wynn, who were both experienced actors, did a great job in the film. Their teamwork in Finian's Rainbow showed how talented they were. Everyone involved in making the movie paid close attention to every detail, making sure everything looked just right. This shows how much effort goes into making a movie that stands the test of time. The dedication of the cast and crew shines through, making the film a classic piece of cinema. It's amazing to see how much care and skill went into bringing the story to life on screen. In the late fall of 1947, a captivating movie unfolded starring Fred Astaire. One memorable scene showcases Astaire's incredible talent in the You're All the World to Me number. But what appears to be a seamless performance actually involves three or maybe four subtle edits. To achieve the gravity-defying moves, Astaire cleverly used magnets. The director, Stanley Donan, spilled the secret that Astaire pulled at the picture when taking it off the dresser. These moments truly highlight Astaire's skill in manipulating objects and defying gravity. 
After facing dismissal from the film, Judy Garland experienced a troubling incident where she secluded herself in a bathroom and inflicted wounds on her neck with shards of glass. Debate surrounds whether this act was a serious suicide attempt or a plea for assistance. Later, Lux Radio Theater aired a 60-minute radio adaptation of the movie featuring Jane Powell in her original role on April 14, 1952. Additionally, numerous children from Hollywood Professional School participated in the production, receiving education on set when not required for scenes. Keenan Wynn, despite disrupting their studies for fun, was adored by all the children. The exterior set of Lord John Brindale's family estate also appeared as the McKay family's upstate New York home in both Please Don't Eat the Daisies and Please Don't Eat the Daisies. Of all the songs in the film, only Too Late Now ever made it onto the record charts. One of a handful of MGM productions of the 1950-51 period whose copyrights were not renewed and are now in the public domain. For this reason, this title is now offered, often in very inferior copies, at bargain prices by numerous VHS and DVD distributors who normally do not handle copyrighted or MGM material. During the filming of Royal Wedding, a scene featuring a ship rocking during the song Open Your Eyes was inspired by Fred Astaire and Adele Astaire's voyage to London in 1923. To achieve this effect, a boat rocking device was utilized. Initially planned as a collaboration between Fred Astaire and June Allison, Allison had to step away from the project shortly after due to her pregnancy. Judy Garland was considered as a replacement, but after failing to attend costume fittings, MGM terminated her contract. Eventually, Jane Powell assumed the role of Ellen Bowen. Interestingly, towards the end of filming, Powell also discovered she was pregnant. In England, the film was retitled Wedding Bells to avoid any association with Princess Elizabeth's recent wedding, who would later become Queen Elizabeth II. In an uncharacteristic lapse near the end of the opening song, there's a brief passage where Fred Astaire's voice can be heard on the playback, but he fails to mime the lyrics. Charles Walters was originally signed to direct the film, but he quit when Judy Garland replaced June Allison, as he refused to work with Garland again after Summerstock. The singing voice of Keenan Wynn is dubbed by an uncredited vocalist named Bill Reeve. In a classic film, a talented performer resolves a debt with the father of his love interest. This movie is notable for being the last appearance of a skilled actor known for his comedic timing and expressive face. As the story unfolds, audiences enjoy a mix of romance, humor, and impressive dance routines. Furthermore, eagle-eyed viewers might spot references to real London landmarks and stores within the film story. For instance, a shop name cleverly combines elements of two well-known department stores, adding charm to the setting. Through its timeless appeal and memorable acting, this film continues to captivate audiences, reminding us of the enduring charm of old movies. Its influence lives on as a sign of the creativity of those involved. So, whether you enjoy classic musicals or simply seek a delightful movie experience, this film promises to enchant and entertain, leaving a lasting impact on all who watch it. This iconic movie, with its mix of romance, comedy, and impressive choreography, remains a beloved treasure of cinema, appreciated by generations of viewers worldwide.